नमस्कार डॉक्टर पवार द थर्ड टॉपिक इज द फार्मासिस्ट एंड हेल्थ केयर प्रोवाइडर्स द फर्स्ट वी शू ऑल द वर्ल्ड द फार्मासिस्ट डे वी नो द फार्मासिस्ट एज अ ड्रग मैन्युफैक्चर द फार्मासिस्ट एज अ टेक्नोक्रैट द फार्मासिस्ट एज अ रिसर्च एट द सेम टाइम ही हैज अ ग्रेट रोल एज अ हेल्थ केयर प्रोवाइडर or we need medicines from the birth or even from birth till the the last moment of our life doctor give life to the patient but the pharmacist give life to the medicines on which the patient life depends thus the doctor pharmacist and nurse form the triangle of the healthy life or the health and each side of that triangle is unique each side of triangle is a responsible but supporting to each other doctor do the diagnosis of a disease they write the the good prescription the rational prescription the same prescription is the further evaluated by a pharmacist for rationality for authenticity who is the doctor what is the qualification likewise what is the dose what is the way of administration any drug interaction is there and he dispense the right medicines to the patient and the nurse administer such medicines to the patient particularly to the inpatients so we are the pharmacists from pre independence but we know the the pharmacy practice which is traced from 1994 the er 91 which is the syllabus for diploma pharmacy is the first time made the patient oriented or practice oriented and that is implemented in 1993 1994 at the same time many indian universities also started mpharm pharmacy practice as a post graduate education truly the pharmacy practice education is uh, improved from the the pharmd regulation 2008 this pharmd is a doctor of pharmacy 6 year post graduate program in a clinical pharmacy almost 90 to 95% the retail pharmacist in india are d pharm qualified and they are recognized for their trade so to improve their knowledge in the healthcare to make them the healthcare provider the pharmacy council of india in 2017 introduced the b pharm practice as a degree course for this working pharmacist in general the concept of pharmacy practice is to ensure the rational drug dispensing and they do the prescription evaluation they report that prescription should be right for that Drug and Cosmetic Act 1994 mentioned some powers to the the pharmacist, and all these aspects are fully detailed in the Pharmacy Practice Regulation 2015. These points are: the first, the sale of medicines under direct supervision of pharmacist, so that he will get a chance to evaluate to. see that the right medicines are dispensed and right medicines are prescribed by the right doctor also the second point after dispensing of that medicines the pharmacist has to stamp the prescription as a dispensed and with sign and a date so it ensures that the prescription should not be misused or further used the prescription is for single dispensing only if a doctor mentions refill instructions then and then the pharmacist has to dispense medicines on the old prescriptions but again after ensuring that such condition is required and the last point is if the prescription is not the proper have a errors then the pharmacist ethically can regret to dispense medicines on such prescriptions so in this way the pharmacy is serving us mainly for providing the quality medicines and the right medicines 
and in the future also with the additional knowledge with the concept of pharmacy practice he should serve us as a health care provider thus on this the day of the world pharmacist i wish you again very happy pharmacist day thank you